When scheduling a project, you don't always get told a start date and have to calculate the finish date. You quite often get told this is the date the project will be finished, then you start with your finish date and you work back. Hence we then have a backward pass. We would normally do one or the other, we would not do both. We are determining the start date for the project and the end date for the project. So we're going to start at the far end this time. We're going to work, we are going to finish by Monday the 8th of August. We use the same relationships as we had going through a forward pass. We come up with, if that can't be started till Monday the 8th, this task here, the latest it could finish, is Friday the 5th. And then the latest it could start is Thursday the 4th. Looking at this particular task, we must meet these times if we're going to meet that project date. Coming back along the bottom, this task can't be started, has to finish before the next one starts. So this one can only be done on the 2nd of August starting and the 3rd of August finish. So we have Monday, Friday, Thursday, Wednesday, Tuesday. Coming back to the start date then, we must also start our project on the 1st of August if we are going to finish it by the 8th of August. These tasks up the top, because they are only one day and one day, there's going to be a difference here. The latest we can finish this one to have the 8th of August as our completion date is then the 5th of August. So the latest we could do this is the Friday before we're going to finish. One day, so we start on the 5th and finish on the 5th. The relationship between these two, the latest we could start this one is then Thursday the 4th of August. And it will finish on Thursday the 4th of August. So we now have a difference between D and B from what we had in the first place. We still have the same date on F and E and C and A. That indicates that some of these tasks are more critical than others to completing the project on time. What we have now is we have just developed a critical path for this project. The critical path is any task must start and finish on the given dates or the project will be delayed. If, for example, this one did not start until the Monday, the project would not be completed until the Tuesday. So we have options of going forwards and backwards, but either way we have determined there is a critical path within this project upon which any task, if it is not started and finished on the due dates, the project will not finish on time. That is critical path analysis or it is also known as network analysis. The picture that we have here, they are all drawn the same size. The diagram that we have is actually then called a PERT chart, a program evaluation review technique. 